Hello Hitman fans! If you are only interested in the challenges, this video is divided into chapters. Timestamps are in the description. Let's begin. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma. We go to the bathroom to take the scissors. We'll use them to lure the director inside the restroom. Subdue this guy. Why? Why are you doing? The stall on the right has a closet in it. Now we wait for the director. He is currently greeting Yuki Yamazaki near the cable car. Afterwards, he will come near the restroom. After 1 minute and 15 seconds have passed since we started the mission, we open the door and throw the scissors. The director will come inside. Subdue the door and close him. Um, you know what I mean. We hide him in the closet near the patient. Now we acquire a wrench and a screwdriver. The wrench will be used to get rid of the bodyguards inside the organ storage room. The screwdriver we need for the challenge Tech Man. What? Wrench acquired. The screwdriver is behind the snowplow. There's no way this gameplay ends with a silent assassin rating. Therefore, I won't bother with shooting cameras or disabling the surveillance system. Okay. Screwdriver, check. Now we go to the organ storage room to destroy the heart. So. Use the wrench to lower the room temperature. The bodyguards will love it. As soon as they turn around, we do our thing. Only solution forty seven. With sodas on the operating table, and no hope of getting a second right sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. To complete the challenge, Tech Man, we must go inside the regular staff sleeping quarters. In here, there are two NPCs. The one on the couch is irrelevant. The one playing the dancing game is the one who matters. Throw the wrench to make one of them come here. Hopefully, it will be the blonde one. Oh goody, it is the blonde one. Subdue him. Leave him here. Get the wrench. Now we go inside the game room and distract the player. While he's gone, expose the wire of the dance mat power supply. Now activate expert mode on the game console. Stand back and watch. The NPC will sweat so much that he will be electrocuted. Drag him off the mat. Now it's 47's turn to dance. Repair the dance mat power supply. Now press G. If you let 47 dance, you will see that he is not very good at it. Alright, let's move to our next challenge. 
Don't look down. There are many ways in which this challenge can be completed. All you need to remember is this. You have to make Yuki Yamazaki think she's in danger. So much danger in fact that she runs towards the cable car and will attempt to leave Gamma. While she's inside the cable car, we destroy the part connecting the gondola to the wire, making Yuki Yamazaki crash into the mountain below. I'll go inside Yuki's room and kill the bodyguards. You know, even with the added security, this is not Oh, sure. The work was dirty from time to time, but this new. Fuck! Whoa! Jesus! A machine gun. Could be useful. Now we wait in the bathroom until Yuki shows up. She's here. Remember, the goal is to make Yuki run towards the cable car, not kill every NPC on the map. Uh, See the mark above her head? It is done. Now we can retreat. We can use one of the dead bodyguards to change disguises. We shoot the cable car from Jason Portman's balcony. The highlighted part. Shoot it. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. Yes, we are. I hope you found this video useful. Now I say goodbye and until next time, don't forget to have fun. Weird. What's up with the sudden lamp on our resident yoga master? Hmm. 